was trying to decide last night what I could talk about in a video today, and then just now I realized that I have quite a few things I could actually talk about. So, let's get started. I just got a new computer. It's really pretty and um, big. It's got a wider screen than my other one had, and it's really fast because it's got lots of memory, and so my computer's not full anymore. It's beautiful, and it's got a wallpaper that I really like. The whole theme, I named it Christofferson, and the whole theme is Fantastic Mr. Fox. I don't know why that's suddenly kind of become my thing. Fantastic Mr. Fox has become kind of the thing that I do, even though it's not even my favorite Wes Anderson movie. But this is my wallpaper. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I think you can. Yeah. Um, I made it in Photo Bucket, because I have Photo Bucket now. I mean, Photoshop. I'm doing it. My mom's been calling it Photo Bucket. At first she told me that the computer came with Photo Bucket, and I was like, that's a website. And now I'm saying it. Photoshop. I edited it in Photoshop. I have an external hard drive, which makes it really easy. I just plugged it in, and basically, poof, I have all of my stuff. Like, I didn't even lose any of my music. Any of it. Even the iTunes paid for stuff. I had it all. <sighs> so, I was trying to figure out last night what I should talk about, and Luis told me I should watch something that I liked when I was younger and talk about if it's changed, how it holds up and stuff. So I checked out the first episode of Gargoyles. It's like a two-parter. It's at least a two-parter. I only watched the first part because my brain is all over the place right now. It's, it's really good. It, I don't remember it being that serious. Maybe it's not as serious later on because there are lots of funnier characters. I like the funnier characters. I've always been more of a crazy. Yeah, it's it's really intense. The main character, Goliath, he's really intense. But at one point I was laughing because the Vikings are fighting the gargoyles, and they're like, oh my god, these gargoyles came to life. Oh, but they bleed, so we could kill them. But then Goliath jumps off the building and he can fly, and they're all like, oh my god, he can fly! He's got wings! Of course he can fly! You should be more concerned with the fact that a gargoyle just came to life. Oh god, guys, you wrong priorities. It was sad. It ends sadly, and it ends with the to-be-continued, so I might continue that later, depending, because I am kind of curious to find out what happens with the Scottish castle and the, how it becomes modern, and yeah. Anyway, this is a show that I liked when I was little. I used to pretend to be a gargoyle. I would crawl around and pretend to fly, and then I would be like, oh, the sun's coming out, and then I would, like, freeze. It, it, was, it was great. The animation's really good. The animation, like, is the classic uh, Disney television show animated animation. I got Chinese food for Mother's Day with my mom, and lately I've had really bad luck with fortune cookies. They never tell me of fortune. You know how they're supposed to say something like, good things are in your future, or... I don't know. I like the ones that say things like, beware uh, cookies bearing fortunes. Those are great. I, lately, I haven't been getting fortunes that are even fortunes. I've been getting fortunes that are things like, you're a nice person. Thanks, but that's not a fortune. There are coincidences. Yep, there are. That's what it says. On the back, you can learn how to say good luck, but the fortune doesn't tell you anything about good luck. It just tells you how to say it. Um, hey, oh, yun I guess. I feel like Charlie Brown. I never get a fortune that's a fortune. Although I think Charlie Brown's fortunes are always really mean to him. I don't even get mean fortunes, I just get anti-fortunes. Oh, and I have this too. <laughs> I went to see the Avengers. Everybody went to see the Avengers. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but I liked it. I still really like Loki. I'm not alone, either. I think I just said I still really, really like Loki. Lots of L's. People have been comparing him to Scar, but I don't think Loki's even as evil as Scar. Is he? I don't think so. So, um, yeah, I like him. He might be my favorite. No, no. He's not my favorite in the Avengers thing, because Iron Man. And Captain America, although Captain America was kind of weak in the Avengers movie. Not, like, really weak, but he wasn't as exciting. Tony Stark, completely, was the best in that movie. Anyway, so those are the things that I have to talk about. I hope you're doing okay. And I will see you again sometime.